Alrighty. Well, the feedback from the first video was that the audio was kind of sh**. So from now on, we're going to continue with one of these fancy new mics and hopefully things will be a lot clearer. So let's take a very quick look into the content area of Delta CMS. This is the area that you would interact with the most since this is where you would create, translate, publish, unpublish and everything else with your content. The irony is that this section is invisible to you as an editor until your devs or someone else on your team does the content modeling to set up the schema of your website or the project you're working on. So let's take a look at another project where we've got all of this set up. The sidebar is where you can navigate through all of your schema, so your content models such as your pages, your authors, your pricing, and all the other components that go into building your projects. These are completely customizable into folders and single items. And it's important to note that you can also link to external URLs. So as an editor, if you want a quick link to the Swedish version of your website or your pricing pages, you can do this and have links kept in the sidebar. Looking at the content view or the content table itself, this is where you'd see all possibilities for content records created within that model. So in the case of a blog post, we can see all of the sort of posts that we've created, what their status is and when they were updated. It's also important to note that you can customize this view. So if I want to see who's created it, who the author is, what the slug is, this can all be created and kept as a custom view. And you can also have saved filters. So if I only want to take a look at all of the blog posts that match a certain um, accessibility filter, then I can have this. These are, well, just the one post that's tagged with accessibility. Similarly, if I want to look at something that covers frameworks, I've got these two blog posts. This is also where you can take a look at the localizations. So in the case of this project, we've got content created in a couple of different languages. And if I wanted to filter these out, I can look for content created that's in Italian. And of course, what the corresponding entry would be. This is also where you would create new content records from, but this is something we'll cover much later on when we're looking into content management and what the records are and what they teach you. So this was a very quick look into the content view. Things will get a lot more clearer as we start creating models and starting to fill out content within them.